Hello everyone. We have done with the basic aspect of the international business and in today's class we are going to speak about tariff barrier. So international trade may not be beneficial for each and every country. Am I right? There may be some of the problems like some of the developed countries may dominate the developing or underdeveloped countries. Some of the MNCs which are larger and stronger may dominate those developing economy or the developed economy right the international trade or the foreign trade also need to be controlled so to control that one the domestic government will follow some of the methods so that is called as tariff and non tariff barrier there should be restrictions for the international trade up to some extent limitation is decided by the domestic country so let's see what are the tariffs and non tariff barriers trade barriers are restricted trade barriers are restrictions imposed on the movement of the goods between the countries so this is international trade so it's not only the goods it is even the services the major purpose of the trade barriers is to promote the domestic goods than imported goods okay and there by safeguard the domestic industries for the safeguard of the domestic industries the import is controlled the trade barriers can be broadly divided into tariff barriers and non tariff barriers so let's see what are the tariff barriers term tariff means tax or duty so barriers is nothing but the restrictions tariff barriers are the tax barriers or monetary barriers imposed on the internationally traded goods when they cross the national border okay so when the goods are cross the national borders if any monetary barriers are imposed then it is called as tariff barriers so let's see the different types of the tariff barriers one specific duty it is based on the physical characteristics of the good okay a fixed amount of the money can be levied on each unit of the imported goods regardless of its price so value is not considered here so physical characteristics of that particular good is considered okay for example shoe automobiles electrical products like ad valorem tariff the latin phrase ad valorem means according to the value so this tax is flexible and depends upon the value or the price of the commodity so if the tax is based on the value or the commodity price then it is called as ad valorem duty for example imposing a tax on 5 dollar for a 50 dollar shoe and 10 dollar for a 100 dollar combined or compound duty it is combination of the specific and ad valorem duty on a single product for instance there can be a combined duty when 10% of the value ad valorem and 1 dollar per kilogram specific are charged on the metal m so this is the combination of specific duty and ad valorem duty okay for some of the products on the basis of the characteristics of the product the tax is charged and for some of the products on the basis of the value of the goods or the price of the goods the tax is charged okay sliding scale duty the duty which varies along with the price of the commodity is known as sliding scale duty or seasonal duties on the basis of the seasons the duties are varied or the taxes are varied these duties are confined to the agricultural products which are seasonal products as their prices frequently vary because of the natural and other factors the duties on the taxes is not a fixed one here the taxes will vary countervailing duty it is imposed on a certain imports where it is being subsidized by exporting government as a result of the government subsidy imports becomes more cheaper than domestic goods to nullify the effect of the subsidy this duty is imposed in addition to normal duties so normal duties or other duties will be there if any products price is lesser than the domestic goods because of the subsidy which is given by their own country okay for example if us is exporting some products 
let's say one computer so for the export usually that particular country here in this example us will give the subsidy right so let's say the price of that product is around 1 lakh rupees and 30000 rupees is the subsidy which is given by the us government so now the price of that particular product would be the 70000 rupees correct so because of this subsidy 30000 is reduced and the price for the same type of the product in the india if it is around 80000 then what happens the demand for domestic products which is produced in india will be a very lesser because the foreign product price is less am i right the demand will move to the foreign product so that is why indian government in this particular example it is importing country will charge the duty for those product which is availed the subsidies and because of the subsidies the price of those products are lesser than the domestic similar products okay so on those type of the product the additional duty or the tax or the tariff is charged so that tariff is called as countervailing duty the next one is revenue tariff so this type of the tariff or the tax is charged to earn the revenue for the government okay so usually on the luxury goods this type of the taxes are levied or charged the next type is anti dumping duty at times exporters attempts to capture the foreign market by selling the goods at a rock bottom prices okay rock bottom price means it is the lowest price and the price which cannot be decreased from that price such practice is called as a dumping and you know the dumping is not at all good for the domestic companies right so to avoid the dumping some taxes are charged some tariffs are levied so that type of the tax is called as the anti dumping duty protective tariff in order to protect the domestic industries from the stiff competition of imported goods protective tariff is levied on the imports to protect the domestic industry some type of the taxes are charged some tariffs are levied so that type of the tariff is called as protective tariffs normally a very high duty is imposed so as to either to discourage the imports or to make the imports more expensive as that of the domestic product so here is some of the classifications of the tariffs or the taxes which is on the basis of the trade relationship okay the single column tariff here the tariff rates are fixed for various commodities and the same rates are charged for the imports from all the countries okay so for different different type of the products is classified and for that classification or for the different types the taxes are fixed and for all the countries these taxes are the same that is a single column double column here two type of the tariffs is fixed for those countries which is having a good relationship or which is having a bilateral trade agreement uh, for those countries the tariffs are lesser one and for other countries the tariffs are higher one so this is called as double column tariff and triple column three types of the taxes are fixed one is the general one another one is international one and the third one is preferential one general one is nothing but the uh, normal tax rates international trade tax is as usual it is the higher tax rate preferential rate is for those countries the countries having a good relationship okay the first two types are similar to the lower and higher rates which the preferential rate is substantially lower than the general rate okay and it is applicable to the friendly countries or with the close trade relationship when a country is having a good relationship or the close trade relationship with some other countries they may charge very lesser tax that is called as the preferential tax generally some tax rates are fixed so that is called as the general rates and for some of the countries or some type of the products the special rate or the higher rate is fixed that is called as the international rate so that's it about the tariff barriers regarding the non tariff barriers we are going to speak in next class